Breaking news, the Lockheed Martin F-22 Super Raptor is here. F-22 Raptor, a fighter jet so advanced the US government banned its export, afraid its power could fall into the wrong hands. And now, this legendary jet is undergoing a major transformation at the Ogden Air Logistics Complex at Hill Air Force Base in Utah. Lockheed Martin and the U.S. Air Force are applying sixth-generation technologies, originally developed for the future F-47 NGAD fighter, to upgrade the F-22 into what many analysts are calling a Super Raptor. In a public statement, President Donald Trump said, I think the most beautiful fighter jet in the world is the F-22, but we're going to do an F-22 Super, and it'll be a very modern version of the F-22 fighter jet. Tap hype! Hit subscribe! Welcome to the next generation. The F-22 Super Raptor is being built to bridge the gap between today's fifth-generation jets and the upcoming sixth-generation fighter jet, the F-47 NGAD. Just imagine the power and the fear a Super Raptor can impose on enemy nations with upgraded sensors, long-range targeting, and the ability to command autonomous CCA drone wingmen, drone swarms in battle. The F-22's legend isn't fading, it's growing. But here's the real tension. Why spend billions upgrading a jet that hasn't been built since 2011? Should the Pentagon put every dollar into the new F-47 NGAD? Or upgrade the proven F-22 first? Some experts argue that upgrading the Raptor is a smart insurance plan, especially since the F-47 may not arrive in big numbers for up to a decade. This fight, money, risk, and timing, is exactly why the F-22 is being rebuilt for a second life. To understand the stakes, we must remember why the F-22 became a legend. When the F-22 entered service in 2005, it didn't just set the standard for fifth-generation fighters, it became the standard. It combined four superpowers. Stealth, hard to detect by any radar of that era. Sustained supercruise, fly fast with no afterburner. Thrust vectoring agility, fly fast with no afterburner. Integrated avionics, all sensors work together. These gave Raptor pilots something priceless. First look, first shot, first kill. And this wasn't theory. In 2018, over the crowded skies of Syria, F-22s deterred 587 hostile aircraft, including Russian and Syrian jets, without firing a single missile. Their unseen presence alone forced enemy planes to back off. That is true air dominance and that moment sealed the Raptor's legend forever. But now, things are changing. New threats are rising fast. The Raptor Killers The danger facing the F-22 is real. The jet was built for a world where no one could see it, track it, or target it. But today, China and Russia have the systems designed to spot stealth jets. 1. Russia's S-500 Triumphator M The S-500 is not a simple ground defense system. It is a giant area denial weapon designed to push U.S. aircraft hundreds of miles away. Why it's dangerous? It can theoretically target fifth-generation stealth jets, hypersonic weapons, and even low-orbit satellites. Its range, up to 600 kilometers, forces the F-22 to fly far around it, wasting fuel and limiting mission options. Its radars are fast and resistant to jamming. A three to four second reaction time means the Raptor must use more electronic warfare, which risks revealing its position. 2. China's PL-15 Missile China's J-20 stealth fighter carries the PL-15, one of the world's longest-range air-to-air missiles. Why it's dangerous? Range, 200 to 300 kilometers. Speed, Mach 5 plus. Dual pulse engine boosts speed again in the final attack phase. This means the J-20 could fire first. That destroys the F-22's greatest advantage. First look, first shot, first kill. 3. Russia's Su-57, Felon The Su-57 isn't perfect, but it is improving fast. It has strong maneuverability, advanced sensors, and modern electronic warfare. It may not beat the Raptor in a fair fight, but it increases danger in crowded, contested airspace. 4. Passive Detection Networks, The Unseen Threat China and Russia now use systems that don't emit energy. They simply listen for the F-22's heat, radio signals, or radar reflections. China has even used satellites, like Jilin-1, to track stealth aircraft from orbit. 
These systems mean the F-22 must now fight harder than ever to stay hidden. So the Air Force made a bold choice. Transform the Raptor. Give it new sensors, new weapons, new reach, and new digital intelligence. This effort is the F-22 Super Raptor program, a massive push to keep America dominant until the sixth generation F-47 arrives. The F-22 Super Raptor upgrade falls under Ares, Advanced Raptor Enhancement and Sustainment. Its goal? Turn the Raptor into a fifth generation plus fighter that stays lethal into the 2040s. Here are the key upgrades and why they matter. Passive sensors, silent hunt mode. The old F-22 relied mainly on active radar. Active radar sends waves, and waves can be detected. The Super Raptor gets IRDS slash TAC IRST, a network of heat sensors, optical sensors, and distributed apertures. Think of it as thermal vision for the sky. Why it matters? The F-22 can now see enemies without revealing itself. It becomes a silent hunter, the biggest leap in its survival since 2005. AIM 120D and Next Gen BVR weapons, range dominance. To defeat the PL-15 threat, the Super Raptor gets AIM 120D, extended range AMRAAM variants, redesigned internal bays for more missiles. The AIM 120D flies farther, reacts faster, and restores America's first shot advantage. Why it matters? Range wins. If you fire first, you live. AIM 9X Block 2, dogfight god mode. If the fight gets close, the merge, the Super Raptor now has AIM 9X Block 2. This missile can turn after it leaves the jet. It can strike targets far off to the side. Why it matters? If a Su 57 sneaks in, the Raptor can still win instantly. Full Link 16, the quarterback upgrade. The old F 22 could only receive data. Now, it can send and receive without breaking stealth. Why it matters? The F-22 becomes the quarterback of the entire U.S. air fleet, passing targeting data to F-35s, F-15EXS, ships, and drones. Electronic Warfare Boost, a fight against the S-500. The Super Raptor gets new digital protection systems made specifically to counter advanced radars like the S-500. Why it matters? It gives the Raptor a much better chance of surviving inside Russian and Chinese airspace. Command of CCA Drones, Loyal Wingmen. This is the big leap into 6th gen warfare. The Super Raptor will control stealthy scout drones, missile carrying CCAs, decoy drones, jamming drones. Why it matters? The F 22 becomes a mini strike force all by itself. It doesn't fly alone anymore. Stealth fuel pods, range for the Pacific. The F 22's biggest weakness is range. Stealth fuel tanks that break off cleanly will fix this. Why it matters? The Super Raptor becomes a true Indo-Pacific fighter, able to reach deep into contested areas without losing stealth. This is not a refresh, it is a full body resurrection. The Air Force now stands at a razor thin crossroads. Every dollar poured into the F-22 Super Raptor is a dollar not poured into the F-47 NGAD, the next generation stealth platform America desperately needs for the 2030s and beyond. And yet, the numbers tell a story none of us can ignore. The cost reality. F-22 Super Raptor Modernization, Ares, 10.863 billion. F-22 unit cost, Legacy, 369.5 million per aircraft. NGAD slash F-47 development, approximately 20 billion. Estimated cost per new F-47 airframe, approximately 300 million. On paper, building the future seems easy, but the truth is colder. The F-47 is years away. Its cost is swelling. Its schedule is uncertain. And enemies are not waiting. The F-22 Super Raptor upgrades are not a luxury. They are a strategic insurance policy, a shield that buys the US time while the next generation system matures. If you were in command of the US Air Force for just one day, with China and Russia tightening the noose, would you back the upgraded F-22 Super Raptor right now? or gamble everything on waiting for the F-47? And more importantly, why? Drop your answer below. If this video hit you with a new perspective, don't just watch, join us. Subscribe so you never miss the breakthroughs America's rivals pray you never see. And share this with someone who needs to understand what's coming, because the world is gearing up for a new era of air dominance, and America is upgrading a jet so advanced 
most nations still can't match the version built two decades ago. If this is the Raptor's evolution today, what do you think the US is building in the shadows for tomorrow?